ladies and gentlemen, the next 10 to 20 hours, I'm going to try and bring you as much information as I can, because those are going to be the most important hours to people who might be in danger. From Hurricane Michael, it was now expected to be a major hurricane upon landfall, and right now it's looking like Florida, but that could change as the storm is anywhere from 55 to like 75 hours away. And then, the reason you guys pay me the big bucks through contributions and donations to my YouTube channel is because I tell you the bad news nobody wants to hear. And we have another giant, massive, potential hurricane. This They're always bigger than the last, rolling off Africa as we speak. So, hurricane season is not over anytime soon. But what we will concentrate on now is the major storm that is over the United States that will hook up with the hurricane to create a Quetzalcoatl storm that will then streak up the East Coast. Models have it maintaining hurricane strength as it goes up the East Coast and exits. <clears throat> so yes, the storm is going to be very damaging and possibly deadly. So I need you to, your decision is up to you and you need to do your due diligence, but I would recommend taking the storm very seriously if you were on the Panhandle Coast right now. Because what we're looking at is this is precipitable water. Which is the water willing to participate in a storm. As you can see, it fluctuates between a whole lot and tons of a whole lot of water that it is dealing with. And it is a massive sized storm. Um, I saw a thing earlier that said it's four Ohio's. So if that means something to you, let it resonate. But as you can see, we have a giant system rolling over the United States now. We have the Hurricane Michael heading north, and the two are going to hook up and then move out of the coast together and create like a super mondo storm. I don't even know what this guy's doing. For example, um, this is the GFS. It has, see it hits like this, and then goes up the coast. And it's going to create, I mean, look at this. Look at the square miles footage covered that is a lot and so and then you got Sergio entering in through Mexico bringing more rain and moisture through the southwest so we got quite a few days on our hands now and I just want to remind you I put out an alert starting the 26th of September through all of October saying that we are on High, high alert for major weather, hurricanes, and volcanoes, and earthquakes. And since then, we've had a 7-7 earthquake. We've had volcanoes popping off everywhere. A hurricane is now about to hit the United States as Sergio hits Mexico, as Leslie hits the UK, probably, and as a Medicaid hits the Mediterranean. So, my warnings seem to be pretty accurate. <clears throat> but... Everybody gets to choose their own facts these days, so do with it what you will. So it's busy on both sides of the Atlantic. This is what I was talking about. You got Michael doing this, and then Leslie doing that. All right. And then here is the king of weather Twitter and the best weatherman on the planet that I know, Cranky Weather Guy. You can follow him on Twitter, and, and I'll leave his blog here, stormhamster.com, for his breakdowns, and then... If you're in the path of the storm, I highly recommend being on Twitter. It's usually a cesspool talking about politics and other crap, but during weather events like this, the weather team on Twitter is fantastic. Um, I'm at, at New Thor, um, though I'm grumpy today. So yeah, he's showing us just observing at this stage. Need to get further along to do any comparisons, new analysis, but has both supportive and inhibitive environmental issues. They're battling it out. And so then there's been this kind of debate of, you know, will it be Cat 1, Cat 2, Cat 3? I think, you know, be prepared for worst case scenario. And so we know that it's going to be a pretty strong, pretty powerful storm unless a miracle happens. So let's all pray for a miracle. Andy Hazelton, this is very much a tweet for scientists. What? But it's really interesting. Note the warming of the clouds southwest of the CB 
near the tip of Cuba that is likely compensating subsidence sinking air. Due to the very strong updraft, this tends to warm the eye. It's cool to see so clearly. Oh my god, that scared me. It looked like a ghost face. Ghost face killer. Alright, so, yeah, I guess if you like spooky stuff, then this is the month for you. And another reason I'm putting this video out is the new Euro is out, and everybody's like, King Euro. This is brought to us by Stephen Eckhart. Um, but yeah, so the King Euro has it at about 135, 120 mile per hour winds. I think those are sustained wind speeds. So, what is that? All right, so, yeah, so that's 130 mile per hour winds. Let's go over here to our mics. Oh, and here's another thing. I'll try and leave this link in the box. It's spaghetti models at um, Mike's weather page. It has all these wonderful things in one place for you. I'll leave it in the information box under Cranky's. Um, but so 130 mile per hour winds would be, because what I'm worried about is storm surge. And it's a fast moving storage storm. So it could push a lot of storm surge on the shore. And storm surge is deadly if it gets too high. See, 130 mile per hour winds would bring anywhere from 13 to 18 feet of storm surge. And the waves I was looking at earlier were about 31 feet. So, I mean, this is the situation we're dealing with. That's the storm going over America, and then that's the hurricane. So, I don't know. We got earth weather changes that have been happening that I've been trying to tell you about at Thor News for five years. Saying, hey guys, why don't we all unite as one Earth family to meet these earth weather changes as Earth changes real fast? Okay, so here, and this is these are all the flood watches and warnings in the middle of the United States. I mean, that's a pretty heavy, pretty thick rain band flood warning watch region. We got a lot going on. And I guess the overall the energy is just crazy. Do you feel it? I do. That's why I'm usually cooler than this. But man, it's been a rough year. How about for you? <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you the. See how that. The hurricane is down here, and then you still have a lot of rain ahead of this. And then there's the big rain band that is moving over the United States, causing all those problems. And these two are going to hook up and create a giant monster megastorm that goes up the East Coast. So that's why for the next 10 hours, about once an hour, I'll be making a video for you guys letting you know. If you like my style, then be sure and come on back. Stephen Eckhart, intensification right up until landfall is a major hurricane. So, that this has moved it west of the Destin area. I believe it was Palm Beach. And so that would bring the worst of the storm surge right about he here. All right. Stephen McLeod. McLeod. Hurricane Michael is growing and intensifying. Thunderstorm development is increasing, especially in the northwest quad. This goes 16 IR, shown in barren weather links. Florida works. But yeah, as you can see, she's filled with life, and she is kicking. She looks like she wants to grow, grow, grow. And the only thing that's going to stop her is the coast. As we mentioned, the Euro has moved a bit west as well, and is much closer to the benchmark southeast of the New England. Quicker too, new track top, old track bottom. So, yeah, we bring landfall about here, so the worst of the storm surge would be in these areas and so though the people in the storm surge areas I definitely would get the hell out of there I don't know where this volcano is it's Vulcan Volcano Venimanov Copernicus no, I just thought this is another one that's been going off that's a pretty big one I assume it's in England but like a around there but the uh, Papacotal volcano in Mexico has been going off almost a month straight like crazy and that's not normal the new run of the Euro model has Michael off the coast of Destin by midday Wednesday models are trending back to the west landfall now projected to be between Miramar Beach and Panama City 
We'll have to keep watching closely for track changes. And so, if you are going to evacuate, be sure to have a plan for your pets and your friends, and even take a poor friend with you if you can. Because, you know, sometimes when they get mad, people don't evacuate when they're supposed to. Well, some people are too poor to evacuate, you know. Um, so, be sure and give a poor friend a helping hand in need if they're in the way of the hurricane. If you can, not there. I'd appreciate it. That's Thor of Thornies. That has a 951. So that has it. Wait. That has it. Yeah. The Cat 4, I think. That was not what I wanted to hit. Nine forty four, so it's only like six millibars away from my cat four. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it. I think it's because I made a little mistake in the last one. All right. Yep, he's showing us what I showed you—the the weird dragon, looks like a Grotix painting almost. And this is what a strange sky tonight. And remember last night the sky was really strange, but I don't think those rocket gases should be left over. Yeah, who knows? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Be prepared for anything. Like, aliens can land tomorrow, and I'd be like, I'm not surprised. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that would be surprise me is everybody started getting along and having a good time. You know, if Earth started partying again, or having rock and roll, or hilarious comedians, then I'd be like, oh my God, what is going on? <coughs> I'm so surprised. And I was saying, here at Thor News, and the sun acts weird, Earth weather acts weird, and then people act weird. And that we are at a geomagnetic storm i think it was kp4 last time i checked and so the auroras are kicking and so yeah of course the oceans are kicking oh that's another thing i didn't point out see look it's almost magical mystical it's like god is trying to talk to us through colors in the sky it's super neat all right ben Knoll, although the worst impacts from the hurricane michael will be across the Florida Panhandle. Some inland flood and flooding is likely as a deep tropical moisture surges northward. That includes those affected by Florence and the Carolinas. Because like I, as I was saying, uh, it's going to maintain hurricane strength as it moves up the coast and then exits. And Carolina got hit super hard by Florence. And I mentioned again that Mexico is getting hit by hurricane. Florida is getting hit by hurricane. Probably. And then Leslie might be hitting the UK. And then the Medicaid is hitting the Mediterranean. So these are wild days indeed. And we've still got a month or two left in hurricane season. And it's been abnormally hot down in Texas for October. So I imagine the oceans are abnormally hot too as well. This is the wonderful Bobby Storm. This is a great product. The National Hurricane Center Atlantic added that you need to learn how to use. I'll put in the information box. You can zoom in, zoom out, add options. That sounds good, except for sometimes. And then here's your blog. I use it often in Harbor, Hurricane Harbor Blogspot. I'll leave a link to her blog as well. I highly recommend Bobby as well. Okay, so let's try it. It'll be fun. Okay. So, but yeah, this is the thing that, you know, when I'm saying, when I recommend evacuating, although we don't have the track specifically down yet, but if you think you're going to be anywhere in the cone, if you were in the storm surge areas, that's not a place you want to be. And that usually the government sometimes, I'm sorry, is a little slow on the take. So these are probably the main maps you want to be looking at. And I wonder if they have a thing that you can play with, like if it came in at 150 miles an hour, this would be the damage. If it came in at 120, that would really help us. If you had like a calculator where you could go up and down to try and figure it out. So, I will continue to stay on top of this. And I want everybody to take it seriously. Oh, and I want to look at one more thing. Because I forgot to point out the last one. If it still does it. Alright, let me go to... Because I thought this was weird. I didn't... I mean, I've been doing hurricanes on here for a while. And, um. Alright, so, this is, these are wind gusts, but look at, alright, this is right now. But look at how there's, like, these are like 40 mile per hour. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's a whole wind field 
like the hurricane is down here, but the heavy winds, I mean, you're getting 38 mile per hour wind gusts. Watch this. I'll just, I'll put it here. Okay. Watch. But the storm is way down there and it's causing 42. So that's weird to me. That it's going to be pushing on the waves and making it super choppy before it even gets close. So, that's just one thing I noted before. This was the older run of the year, though. Yeah, these are wind gusts, but this one had the 150 possible mile per hour somewhere on one of the ticks. So, I will keep you guys posted, and stay cool, and please take this seriously. I have a plan for you, your family, your friends, your pets. And uh, be kind when you can. And come on, seriously, let's work together as one American fem family. You can do it.